Well, I do it because it gives a, a joy and a light to people around me. I, I put smiles on faces. This is our 29th and, uh, annual clown uh, convention. We are here to help educate clowns all over the world. I think it's just the joy that you can give kids, adults, or just people who just need a little bit of hope or just to share a smile. Balloons, face paintings are all creative ways to transform them, at least temporarily. Watch me. I'm telling you, if you watch me, you're going to see that, you know, it's really easy to have Bringing joy to people, you know, performing random acts of kindness, because you can be a clown dressed like this. You don't need the makeup and the costumes. You just, you know, I, uh, people just think I'm just kind of a little strange. People ask her if I suffer from mental illness, and she says, no, he just enjoys it. Cl clowning is from the heart, so anyone that has a, has a, a, a feeling of, of being a clown or, or happiness or wanting to share, that's what we do. So how did you get the name Groovy? I thought about it for a while, and I like to dance and have a good time, and I'm a 70s kind of person. So I'm, I'm, I'm groovy. We have hospital clowns. We have we have uh, uh, circus clowns. We have we have birthday party clowns. We have uh, just about any type of clown there is. We think we're beautiful, and we feel very it's very important to be compassionate, to be very friendly, to make people feel good. But you know what? It's a two-way street. So what we see from you, we feel inside, and it makes us feel great. So what makes a good clown? Uh, you got to be able to share. You got to be able to come from the heart. You got to be able to give. It's a give, a giving type thing. You know, if you go into a hospital room, you got to have ed education to know how to go into it. Uh, if you go into a nursing home, you got to know how to. You can't just jump through the door and go, "Hey, I'm here." You know, I mean, uh, there's there's a lot to it. A lot, lot of education behind it.